What is your recording process? Do you have like sort of a way of laying that those sweet sweet tunes down? Or is it different <laughs> um, every time? It is different every time, isn't it? It's, it's getting different now. We I think mostly we kind of write the song in like its bare bones, like guitar, that guitar over there, the nylon string, mm-hmm. and vocals. Mm-hmm. And when we're happy with that, then normally then that'll be when we start like producing it. But now, I don't know, you get sick of everything after a while, so I'm now kind of mm-hmm. going the opposite way. So starting with a production idea. Um, yeah, trying to get more into production. Yes, That's kind of new, newish for me. Been working on it gradually, but cool. Yeah, so it is it is different mm. for everything, but we're lucky because we work with with Carl Carl Ziegler, um, who's an amazing producer, and mm. he's got a lot of nice gear that we can go and yeah. use. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a um, so yeah, so it's great, and we've been doing a couple of writing sessions with different people. Um, oh, cool. Actually, one of the songs we're playing today, "Cold Water Swimming," we wrote with uh, Carl and Josh Noble. You know the Larkins frontman of Larkins. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He works in a studio in eighty hertz studios. Yeah, oh, he's yeah. so lovely. Um, so yeah, that's been yeah. fun writing with other people. It's new. Nice. Yeah, kind of yeah. strange, but yeah, yeah. Totally. Like it, it. It's really fun writing with people who have totally different influences. Yeah, yeah. as well. Uh, you can usually end up settling on something. It'd be very rare if you have somewhere it's like you have no like middle ground. But it could be really interesting to do it that way. Like anything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Everything, everything, <laughs> everything you play, the guys like, and oh, no, I'm just not getting it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, what about with in terms of lyric writing? Um, do you write lyrics together, and and how do you approach no. like subject matter and? Um, and all that kind of thing? Jamie, I am like Jamie's definitely the more natural lyricist, or just the better lyricist. You've worked harder at it over the years. It's been something you that you've always. Well, you know, it started a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, I feel like I'm always trying to write lyrics that are as good as Jamie's because he's really good at them. Oh, nonsense! Um, You're but amazing. yeah. Most of the time, it's Jamie on the, with lyrics, and you write them really fast as well, which I just like cannot do. It mm. takes me ages. Um, but yeah, we 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 struggle to write together. I would say. Yeah. <laughs> we uh, argue quite a lot. So really? yeah. yeah, even though we're a duo, mostly yeah. it's like yeah. this is my song, and Jamie wrote that song. Okay. And, like, right. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, we're we're yet to kind of work out how to not fall. Which out we're starting to do a bit more work together. <laughs> I think I think when yeah. we're working together, that's partly why we started doing like the odd writing session and stuff because it actually helps having someone else there yeah to break, to break things up a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. i think it's because we yeah. know each other quite well and it's yeah. like i'm i just I'm too harsh I well yeah, yeah you can say like, things you have to, to be harsh though. yeah like yeah. Yeah. yeah but sometimes it's a bit like it gets not very nice but you would like, be <laughs> like i would say the same things <laughs> to somebody else but i would like be more considerate yeah. of yeah. how i would say them but with yeah. jamie you can just be like no nah, that's rubbish or, but then actually i think that kind of creates quite a not a very good you know environment yeah. so gets if Jamie gets upset uh, yeah. you have to apologize stop crying it's a whole mess stop crying so, yeah. it's going really yeah. well yeah oh so every side of being more like it's kind of this way like, you know, like barking at Jamie yeah um, all right so when you're writing the lyrics doing how do you kind of approach that like um do is it more like kind of storytelling thing you go for like mm-hmm. um or more like stream of consciousness style writing or what um, more story? more storytelling like yeah. quite it's quite worked out a lot of the time mm. um mm-hmm. i do sometimes do like the stream of consciousness thing where i just write for ages and then but then i'll always try and like pick stuff out that like makes sense yeah, and is, yeah, a, yeah totally. is a story yeah. and like this happens yeah. and then this happens and but i don't know i kind of i quite like to move away from that maybe sometimes mm. in writing like i love the way that like Bon Iver's lyrics sound sometimes yeah, they're just like they're just so pouring out of him yeah and, yeah. Yeah. and like the sound yeah. of the words is so important yeah that's like yeah. um you know Adrian Linker yeah her, I feel like yeah, the too. way that the I mean she's an unbelievable lyricist but one of the ma- main things I love about her lyrics is that they just they just sound so good the words just like yeah. sound like music on their own yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah which totally. is just I'm amazing so into that, definitely. yeah it's so yeah, yeah we've got I think we know like which lyricists that we love um we've got quite a clear idea of we're very much like if I listen to a song and it's got lyrics I don't like, that'll be like, I will listen to it. Like, that's really important to me. Uh, okay. um, lyrics yeah. like Jump Out. I listen to the lyrics probably yeah. the most when I'm listening to music. Yeah, I'm saying, uh, I feel like that's a, a little bit rarer. I, I yeah. think I come across a yeah. lot of musicians and uh, instrumentalists who, who will primarily listen to music that's like vocal driven who will openly say, like, I have no idea what any song I like is about. Like, yeah. Yeah. they've never even thought about it. And that blows my mind because it's like, I think my, my dad was always like, Putting on music and he would, he always says the line before it comes on. <laughs> it's just say, it would just it would just like say it to me and then I listen to it. So yeah. so I think I always just had lyrics just driven home and 
that yeah that's why all the meaning that for me it's like pairing up the harmony with the lyrics mm -hmm. is such a cool thing so like mm -hmm. the harmony kind of paints like the emotion that you're supposed to be feeling and then the lyrics tell the story and when you get those together which you guys are great at you know, like oh, that's thanks, so yeah. me. and I don't just say that to everyone by the way yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, did you just come on the show you're just like yeah, I think your lyrics yeah, are terrible I'm rude to me I just uh, <laughs> I just talk about something different <laughs> um, no it's, it's true and that, that's where it's at for me isn't it like that, when you strike that balance um, and mm -hmm. just words that some words just sound really really good so. yeah Thank you for listening. Be sure to subscribe to the podcast to catch up on new episodes every week. Also, check us out on our Facebook and Instagram at Rec Rooms, where you can find out about our other exciting music series. We also have this and all our other episodes of the podcast up on our Rec Rooms YouTube channel for your viewing pleasure. See you next time.